What's up, y'all? This little Dub B back at again another Slab History 101. Uh, today, I kind of want to come in and kind of talk about a topic that then came up in the last couple of interviews, you know, really in the whole, you know, time I've been doing this Slab OG's TV uh, interviews. Um, the question is, is Red dead? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to, you know, whether it be red line or just the color red in general, uh, I'm going to start off by kind of talking about the history first, just from my knowledge or just anybody I know that just was kind of around in the early, early stage to talk about, you know, the, the red line, you know, the red cars when they first started seeing red. Um, I know for a fact that, you know, red was one of the first, you know, candy colors that everybody knew of. I can't specifically tell you which color car was the first candy i mean it'd be a lot of different debates on what is the first what was the first candy who had the first candy uh was it red was it this was it that i know stick one one time said that his car was one of the first you know candy cars to come out on the streets or one of uh, one of you know what i'm saying the first candy cars to come out on the street and i think it was a uh, purple slant back that he had you know what i'm saying but undeniably you know what i'm saying when that red hit the scene back in the day in the early 90s i mean when you think about it that was the brightest that is like one of the brightest colors you know specifically during that time that people was putting on their cars you know what i'm saying so to see a candy red car come through is 91 92 93 you know what i'm saying it stuck out like a sore thumb, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, boys started to gravitate to it. You know, I would love to kind of know who was the first one to come candy red, but I mean, man, it's just so many, it's so many different, you know, doing these interviews, it's a lot of people that kind of tell their side of the story. So I kind of try to get to, you know, the bottom, bottom of, you know, who was the first one documented or at least on my channel, you know, maybe the oldest car, you know what I'm saying, that I could think of. I might interview somebody and they might say, oh, such and such car was the first one I saw in 1988 that was candy red, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I would kind of just, in my head, kind of go based off that, you know what I'm saying, because I kind of look at it like I'm a journalist. So I, mean, I kind of try to journal, journal, you know, and catch the history of who was the first, how did this slab come to the point it is now you know what i'm saying so i mean and then you know you got i then again too i interview a lot of people from red that that ride red uh from different red lines whether it be clutch red line south side red line south side old school red line uh harm clock red line you know what i'm saying uh i didn't talk to randy before you know what i'm saying i think that that era you know sock Scott, uh, uh, Seti Weddy, Lorandi, um, Rhino, you know what I'm saying? I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be completely wrong, you know what I'm saying? Just like I said, just in my research of doing this slab history, you know what I'm saying? I think that that was the first red line to come out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but you had Blunt before then, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I know Blunt probably rolled with them, you know what I'm saying? But that was the first red line, you know what I'm saying? That era of cars, you know what I'm saying? So, and really when I think about it too, because like, like I said, I mean, it was cars that was candy red before then. But when I really think about it, that third, that whole third ward, you know, like Robot, Sock, you know, uh, Lil Rick from In Yard, Lorandi, like that whole era, if I could really just sit down and just kind of go through my history book of this slab game, I mean, I would think that that's kind of one of the first slab lines, you know what I'm saying, where it's all, everybody in that line is color coordinated. I mean, I could be wrong. You know, I know Botany Boys is out during this time too uh, with the black, you know what I'm saying, black and white slabs. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but, man, when I kind of sit back and really think about it, I mean, I don't think it was a line before that red line, you know what I'm saying? So, like Booby said in the one clip that I, that, that I dropped on Instagram a couple weeks ago, I mean, red started it all. I mean, you know, they kind of influenced it 
on a bigger scale. You know, when you saw that red, and when a lot of people saw that that first red line come through and it all be color coordinated, whether, you know, during that time, you know, a lot of people rode tight white, whether it was tight white, you know what I'm saying, red cars with tight white insides coming through. I mean, you could imagine what it would feel like, you know what I'm saying? So, and then you got to think too, a lot of the guys during this time on the South side in general, they they saw that they saw that line and was like, oh, that's a clean, that's a clean color. You know, that color popped. That you could put any slab during that time on the pavement, you know what I'm saying? But they gonna always see that candy red because it was gonna pop so hard back then, you know, and a lot of boys back then was going to Ike, you know what I'm saying? So that color was popping so hard. I mean, you had a lot of different guys on the south side that was and then, you know, they was all mingling, you know. Houston big, but, you know, everybody know everybody. So I can only imagine back then on the south side how it kind of was. So you had people from Third Ward, South Park, uh, Home Clark. You just had people from everywhere that was like, okay, we all finna jump. I'm just finna go red too. You know, it's not going to be the same car, you know what I'm saying? Not going to be the same car that I'm going to do my car. But you might have 20 different cars and they all red. But they weren't thinking it like it was a line back then, you know what I'm saying? So that's how I kind of feel like the red really started this whole line thing, you know what I'm saying? Coming down, looking clean because during that time, I mean, shit, the red was the top dog, the top echelons when it came to the slab and, you know, coming down and really sticking out like a sore thumb, if that makes sense. Now, where I think a lot of guys get it messed up today is if it was 30 years ago, 35 years ago when, you know, Candy Red first hit the scene, you know what I'm saying, late 80s, early 90s, whenever it was that Candy Red first hit the scene and it became that staple for Houston, not just the South Side. I think a lot of guys just kind of like, man, I mean, you didn't, it didn't been every car done Candy Red, which it, it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? I can kind of see that argument where somebody would say like, well, man, if you get go get a Cutlass, 77 Cutlass, you go get a 77 Grand Prix, you go get a, a 90 Fleetwood, 96 Fleetwood, or 84 L Dog, whatever kind of car you could think of, I can see why somebody would say, well, man, the car, the, them cars been already done red, you know what I'm saying, 100 times over, flip-flop, you know what I'm saying, Unless it's a brand, brand new car, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's like Ray Ray car or something like that. So I could kind of see that argument, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you can't you can't debate with it, you know what I'm saying? In Houston, Candy Red is a staple for the the, the slab. It's, it's the staple for Houston, you know what I'm saying? And not even just for the south side, really for the north side too. Because I can name 100 cars from then, from the 90s. Till now, that was candy red, you know what I'm saying? Like I always say in my interviews, I'm a little bit younger than, you know, a lot of people that I'm interviewing, but, you know, in my head, I, everybody, you know, that's younger or, you know what I'm saying, might be newer to the slab, they always think, oh, the south side was red, north side was blue, which when I do my research, just simply wasn't the case, really, because, I mean, nobody really talks about candy blue cars, in the early 90s, you know what I'm saying? The furthest, the furthest back I can go when it comes to this blue, you know, being a north side staple, like how south side got the red as a staple, you know what I'm saying, is the Baca blue line, you know what I'm saying? And that might have been 98, 99. That, that, that was the earliest, you know what I'm saying? But when blue line really hit the scene and tore it up and it was like, okay, this is, this is what the north side represent, you know what I'm saying? It was like 2000 and 2001, you know what I'm saying? And I could say that's pretty much a fact because a lot of them cars did come from my daddy's shop you know what i'm saying so i mean it was cars way before then 10 years before then you know what i'm saying byron mac having candy red slabs in the early 90s 90 91 92 you know what i'm saying uh even even uh david glenn the main jacker from Rosewood that a lot of people knew of back then, the infamous jacker from Rosewood, they used to take a lot of the slabs you know what i'm saying uh back then in Houston in the early 90s. I mean, I don't think he ever rode a candy blue slab. You know what I'm saying? He rode candy red because that was a staple. You can go to any side of the, you can go to any side of Houston and I guarantee you somewhere in the history books, 
in the early stages, you're going to see Candy Red in that neighborhood on that side of town. You know what I'm saying? It's just a staple in the city. And even today, I mean, every neighborhood pretty much has some type of Candy Red line at some point. Well, majority of them at least. Harm Clark. Everybody, you know, know Harm Clark for riding Candy Orange. The newest lines that they didn't had in the past, I'll say 10, 15 years. Home Clark Red Line, you know what I'm saying? Southwest Red Line. Uh, Homestead even had a red line at a certain point in time, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to do an interview on that uh, soon, too. But, you know, Homestead even had their own red line. Shit, I'm sure Acres Home had their red line. There's been a lot of red cars to come out of Acres Home, you know what I'm saying, in the past 20 years. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's it's not really just a a... a, a a side of town thing. It, it's a Houston staple, you know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of the guys that's kind of getting mad at the interviews and seeing that you got a lot of people saying like, or not even just on the interviews, just you know, just on the internet in, in general, really, you know, talking about Red is dead, uh, don't nobody ride Candy Red no more, that's a 40 and old, 40 and up color, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, I mean I can see why them dudes getting mad that's that's riding red right now because they understand why they ride red, you know what I'm saying? And then even for me, I can say it took me a long time because I mean I feel like, you know, personally I wouldn't ever do a candy red car just because, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of the cars already have been done that way, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of red people people that's candy red now tell me, I mean shit, it ain't this candy red car, you know what I'm saying? But when they riding Candy Red, that's a staple for, you got to think of it like that's a staple for the slab. They can be from whatever neighborhood they want to be from. They can be from Conroe, the Woodlands, Pearland. They can be from Southwest. They can be from anywhere. I mean, hey, man, they, they going red because of that's what Houston is. You know what I'm saying? Think about all the rappers that ain't came to the city or the rappers that's all, that are in the city, you know what I'm saying? They doing a music video. What's the number one car that they going to call out, you know what I'm saying? They going to normally ask, hey, I want a candy red car somewhere in my video because they understand and know that that is a staple, you know what I'm saying, for Houston. And I guess another reason that you could kind of say, like, a lot of people do be hating on red, you know what I'm saying, is because it's like an undefeated color. And what I mean by that is... I mean, if every candy red car, because, you know, like I said, back in the day, the South Side, when they was riding they, riding they slab, you know what I'm saying, they could be from all different neighborhoods all around the South, from, you know what I'm saying, Southeast, South, Southwest, you know what I'm saying. They going to all come together because they going to know, shit, we got these candy red cars and shit, nobody else really putting together no candy shit, you know what I'm saying, so we going to all line up, so... The last 30, 35 years, I mean, when it comes to red, if you line up all the reds in the city right now, man, it'd be deep. You know what I'm saying? And if I was to name, I could name every line that came out that was red. Southwest red line, Harm Clark red line, Third Ward red line, Southside red line, uh, Fourth Ward red line. I forgot about Fourth Ward red line. Fourth Ward red line, uh, Southside old school red line. Clutch red line, no matter what red line you could think of, they have all been 20 deep and they all been cool with each other, you know what I'm saying? So if all of them lined up and was just like, hey, we finna hit a block party, man, they could literally be, that line literally could be like 75 to 100 cars deep, you know what I'm saying? Just candy red cars. So I could kind of see why, like I said, a lot of the people that are saying, oh, the red is dead. I mean, shit, they can't really beat it, you know. If you a green car, if you in the green line, if you in the gold line, uh, blue line, and just any city, you know what I'm saying, Lake Charles, Austin, you know, anywhere. If you in any line, gold, drink, you know what I'm saying, you can't defeat it, you know what I'm saying. You can have the cleanest five cars in your line, you know what I'm saying, but if you see 50 to 75 red cars come through, I mean, you got to you gotta damn near bow down, you know what I'm saying, on some shit. So, in my opinion, I feel like 
red can never die. Red, red will never die. It could be a hundred years from now, two hundred years from now. Like I always tell y'all, I do these interviews and I do these slab history one on one, so that when I'm dead and gone, everybody that's watching these videos dead and gone, people in the future will know. Hey man, this is what the slab was. This is what Houston is. You know what I'm saying? Even then, 200 years from now, red is still going to be the staple. You know what I'm saying? Red will never die. You know, uh, I would love to see uh, Southside Red Line come back. Southside, all Southside old school red line. You know what I'm saying? I know they got a lot of their cars in the shop. See them boys pull out Clutch Red Line. Man, what Clutch Red Line been at? You know what I'm saying? But Clutch Red Line, Home Clark Red Line, Southwest Red Line, 4 4 Red Line. I would love to see. All them boys come back, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, man, even the, even the OGs, you know, they rolled in their first line, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, back in the 90s, I would love to see all of them come back, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that just, you know, it's always a good look for the slab. The most slabs, you know, the better. So, man, y'all get in the comment box below and kind of tell me y'all opinion. You know, do y'all feel like uh, red is dead or is red never going to die, you know what I'm saying? Is some of the stuff that I didn't see it in this video, is it factual or is it false, you know what I'm saying? Y'all drop y'all comments, you know, we teach each other, you know, you teach me, I teach y'all something I might know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I just kind of wanted to come in and kind of just put my little two cents in. There's been a lot of talk about in the slab game and not just necessarily in my interviews like i said but just in the slab game in general a lot of people are saying shit red is dead you know it was people looking at it like like it ain't what it was you know what i'm saying but like i said red has always been a staple it's a it's a houston color that is forever gonna be embedded in the slab game uh i know you got a lot of young niggas that's coming out right now that's you know kind of flipping the script you know they didn't seen the slab from when they was younger, a lot of their OGs, they they relatives, you know, siblings, you know what I'm saying, riding red. Hey, they feeling like shit, we gonna flip the script. This the new South Side, we gonna ride orange and blue, you know what I'm saying? And they killing in their own sense, you know what I'm saying? It's always good to have, you know, debate in the slab game, some talk in the slab game. That's kind of why I want to, you know, that's kind of why I started this channel, you know what I'm saying? Just for people that's putting these cards together. Y'all give y'all some entertainment, you know what I'm saying? To where y'all can kind of just, uh, you know, have something to talk about. Have something to motivate you while you building your car, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Booby. I'm going to do another Red Line interview soon. I know that nigga mad, you know what I'm saying? He tired of everybody, you know, talking about Candy Red is dead and all that. So, man, y'all just drop y'all comments box. Y'all just drop y'all comments in the box below. I just want to hear y'all opinion, you know what I'm saying? Uh, June 30th, this Sunday, when y'all see this video, June 30th, man, the car show, Houston Holiday Car Show, is going to be one of the biggest car shows of the year. Man, everybody going to be out there from not just your side, my side. Hey, man, all of Houston, all of Austin, all of San Antonio, all of Dallas, you know what I'm saying? All of Louisiana, Lake Charles, Opelousas, Lafayette, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Baton Rouge, hey man, everybody coming out here for the for the car show, you know what I'm saying? I'm selling my t-shirts at the car show. Y'all be there. If y'all ain't got y'all t-shirts yet, hey, I'm going to have my own booth set up, you know what I'm saying? My tent set up. Y'all come over there. Y'all come get a t-shirt. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to be out there. Shit, if you, if you trying to get it right now, man, y'all hurry up and hit me up, you know what I'm saying? So you could be there at the car show with your Slab OG's TV t-shirt. Make the slab great again on the back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all support the movement, man. Uh, Man, it's Lil' WB, Slab OG's TV. We out.